You're watching DIY Nate. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to tell me about your project in the comments. All right, friends, today on DIY Nate, I'm excited to talk to you about a easy project, and it is something that ideally some of us go through when you lose some weight, and you now have to add some extra belt holes because you've lost enough weight that you've hit that last mark. So I've actually hit that, so this belt, I now need to add one, possibly two notches, because I've dropped some pounds, which I'm really excited about. If you want to learn more about that, Basically, it was intermittent fasting and not eating after eight o'clock, essentially at night. You know, I pick up eating around noon and then also getting exercise. Who'd have thought, you know, don't eat as much and, you know, get some exercise. So it's one of the ways I've dropped some weight. So now I got to make my belt a little tighter and we're going to do it in a couple different ways. I'm testing out two methods. First method is hammer, nail, and then drill bit. So we're gonna go through the hammer, nail, drill bit, and multiple drill bit process with one of these holes. The second process we're gonna use is using a punch. Now I have a variety of punches, and I'm guessing a lot of people in my audience may not have a punch that we can use for a lot of different things. So if you don't have a punch, this is kind of why I figured I'd do two different methods. See which one we like better, we can go from there. So let's get to it. So our first step, we're gonna check our measurement and just see how far the holes are apart. Looks like we are one inch spot on. So I know every one inch, I wanna put a slight mark here for our first hole. And I wanna dead center that. So I'm gonna give myself just a very simple mark right in the middle here. I probably wouldn't recommend this approach with a high end belt just because, you know, you don't wanna mess it up or anything like that. So the first method we're gonna use is starting with a nail. And we're gonna use the nail to put the first hole in. Then we're gonna go to a small drill bit, a medium sized drill bit, and a big drill bit. And then we're gonna come with a razor and just cut around the edge to make sure there's nothing left behind. So I'm just gonna take this and we found our mark here and I've got a block of wood behind it so I know I can tack right into it. So now, now that I've got that there, I can even take it and I can pull it up just a little bit, make sure I'm on there pretty good. Feels like, you know, that's that's got a hole started, so that's pretty good. And of course I went pretty deep with that one, so uh, this is pretty beat up build. I use this a lot for working and other stuff. Normally I'd use a, an extra um, block of wood here, but that pulled out pretty easy. And even right there, without doing anything else, I've already got a pretty good hole. You can see that hole right there. It looks pretty good. But I want to make sure I bore that out just a little bit here. So I'm going to take my smaller bit, come right in here. You can see I'm kind of pulling that out just a little bit. Just getting a little bit of wood in there, so that's okay. Then we're going to go up to our next size bit. So really the nail or the bit process will work. Those are a couple options for you, but I'm using them both kind of in combination here. And the reason you use the different size bits is really mostly around, it's going to not fray the ends too much. I'm in there pretty good, but I'm also making sure I'm... And again, you can kind of go up and down, up and down a little bit here. Make sure you got a good hole. I really don't think I have to go much further than that, but I am going to do one more, one slightly larger drill bit. Just give me a big enough hole that it's going to fit and work well. And then I'm going to use that razor to clear out any extra cobwebs that might be hanging out. So here we go, just starting loose. Go a little faster, grab it up, grab it down. Grab this nicely. A lot of leather, leather material, a little bit of wood hanging out. Right there, you can see what we're looking at. Pretty good, although you do see that excess hanging out there. So I can actually take my box cutter here, got a you know, straight razor here or something, and you want to be careful not to file too much. And I might put something hard metal behind it, like the end of the drill bit. And just make sure I'm kind of trimming out the ends here. Make sure any part that's hanging out a little bit outside of the inside of the hole without scuffing the belt. It's a little tough to do. But we're gonna take off any extra shavings, extra area around there. And of course, that's being a little more meticulous than you really need to be. I probably, if I weren't doing a video on it, I wouldn't even mess with that, but uh, that's just something. And I've watched a few other people's videos. Some great folks out there. I've seen somebody do a heated nail, which is pretty cool. They heat it with a blowtorch. I don't have a blowtorch readily available to me at this point, so I'm not using a blowtorch for this one. But you can see that that hole is pretty good. It's a little bit rougher than we want, so that's what I'm hoping that the punch serves as and gives us a little better view. But we'll go ahead and buckle this so you see how well it holds. That's the old hole. And this is the new hole. 
So looking good there. That hole is doing well. And of course, as it has a little time to be used, it'll hold on there tighter. So now let's go ahead and move on to the punch method. I'm kind of looking forward to trying this out. Now again, not everybody's gonna have a punch. If you don't have a punch, no problem. That's why I showed you the first method but I don't have a whole lot of use for a punch. I'm sure there's plenty of things I could use it and will use it for in the future. But as of today, I've got all kinds of punches, just not a whole lot of use for them. And I haven't, uh, haven't used them a whole lot in the past. So I'm gonna take this one. It's kind of a smaller size punch. I have one that's got more of a pointed side. And then I've got a couple of these other ones also point. This one's got a little bit of a flat head. So I'm gonna take the one that's got the closest to a flat head to it. I'm just gonna put it right here. And again, a leather punch is probably the ideal tool for this, uh, but I don't have a leather punch, so I'm using just the punch I've got. So we're going to try this out and see how this works. That punch is in there pretty good. You can see it's already going through. And of course, we can drive that further. And just looking at that, this is a nice clean hole. Not too bad. You can compare and contrast the uh, kind of more chewed up version. In fact, I might put the punch here through there just to make that drill bit hole a little cleaner it's a little nicer and of course that's a smaller hole which is kind of nice as well I don't need a huge hole here especially because I haven't lost the weight to get me down there I'm gonna go one more time in it just like that pull up just a little bit of leather now we got two very nice holes and again, there's a little bit of hanging out on the back. Again, if you wanted to take your razor and clear off that back piece here, now that you're doing it on the back side, it's not a big deal. Probably better to do that on the wood here. Just to kind of carve off whatever's hanging out of the back. The punch really drove that through. So that's, that's how you do that. Put a couple holes in my belt, they're ready to go. Looks pretty good, no complaints on my end. And if I were putting this on, I've already got another belt on, but Let's just test, test the letters here a little bit. That's punch number one. Feels pretty good. You can get it down to punch number two. I'm tightening it real tight there, but both of them hold nicely. And uh, yeah, pulling it in pretty good. So not too bad today for our project. So hopefully that helps. Give you a couple options on how you can do it. You know, to me, this punch seemed to work really well. I think in the future, since I have a punch ready to go, I would use this, but if I didn't, certainly a nail or a, a nail followed by a drill bit seemed to be pretty good as well, or a larger nail probably would work also. In case you want to look at the final product here, these are the old holes, pretty well worn. This is the new one with a drill bit. This is the new one with a punch. To me, the punch one is a little cleaner. The drill bit hole has a little bit more roughness to it. In fact, if I come back here, kind of push that leather in there a little bit for both of them. But yeah, they both look pretty good, not too bad.